All right, everyone, welcome to our content lesson for today. In today's content lesson, we're going to be reviewing what we've already gone over regarding ethos, pathos, and logos, which are known as our rhetorical appeals. So today shouldn't be any new information, but hopefully clarity on the things we've already talked about. To start off with, as we usually do, some reminders and announcements. As far as Flipgrid goes, we are aware of the issues that Flipgrid is having. We're having issues with them too. So as of right now, we're not assigning any more Flipgrid assignments until this issue is resolved. Also, we will not be putting any of the grades into Gradebook until this issue is resolved and everyone has had a chance to get all their videos done. Next, we need to talk about no red ink. Many of you have completed the diagnostic and have at least started the argumentative writing practice assignment on no red ink. However, if you have not done either one of those two things, you need to get them done quickly. At the end of this week, both of those assignments will disappear and you will not be allowed to complete them. Lastly, if you have any questions or you're having difficulty with anything, please send us an email. All right, our learning intentions for today remain the same. How to identify and use evidence and the three rhetorical strategies. How you are going to show that you've learned this is completing tasks on no red ink, completing worksheets, identifying the skills. You'll have paragraph response checkpoint assessments coming up. And at the end of this unit, you will write an argumentative essay showing all of these skills. We've already gone over why you need to learn this. If you go to a job interview, you are going to have to convince someone to hire you. So let's talk about ethos for a minute. Ethos is the Greek word for character. Not like character in a story or in a novel, but rather your character, the person that you are. Ethos is about the source's credibility or their authority on a topic. Are they trustworthy? Are they educated? Are they reliable, credible, honest, fair, and respectable? Right. Do they give us reasons to believe them, their character? Examples of ethos are client testimonials. If you've used a product for so many years and you can say, yes, I've used it and it works, that makes you credible. Success stories personal expertise and experience. If you have experience in something or you have studied something extensively, then you can use that to put ethos into your argument. Now let's take a look at some examples in advertising. First off right here, we have a couple of advertisements. The one on the left features Shaquille O'Neal selling us the Icy Hot Patch. Now, what gives Shaquille O'Neal credibility in a pain relieving product? As a professional athlete, he more than likely has had to use pain relieving product in his career. The example on the right is a recruitment strategy for a law enforcement agency. And they're making themselves more credible by including details that say, I am a neighbor, a friend, a mentor, a sister and also a law enforcement officer. This gives them credibility in arguing that you, in fact, could be a police officer as well, making the connection between you and your audience. This is a piece of an advertisement for a back pain product, much like Icy Hot, but in this case, the ethos that is being used is from the perspective of a doctor, not from someone who uses the product. In this example, they are trying to sell you a brand of toothpaste by saying that it is the brand that dental professionals recommend, that experts in the field of dental hygiene say that this is the best. That means that they can be trusted with that information. So these examples of ethos all use some sort of expertise or experience or create a connection with the audience that gives them trustworthiness and credibility. Now let's look at examples that seem like their ethos, 
but they're actually not. A lot of companies will use celebrities and popular icons to promote their products. The goal in this is that you will say, oh, Cardi B drinks Pepsi. I want to be like Cardi B, so I'm going to drink Pepsi too. This is a trick. It's a very common trick, but a lot of companies try to trick you into using a source that is not trustworthy and not credible, but you think they are just because they are well known. So don't be fooled. Next up, we got to talk about pathos. Pathos is the Greek word for suffering or experiencing something. Pathos is an appeal to the audience's emotion specifically their capacity for empathy, being able to feel for someone. They want you to care about the subject matter by building an emotional connection between you and the topic. A lot of different emotional appeals can be used. Some of the strongest are love, pity, patriotism, hope, jealousy, anger, and fear. So let's look at some examples in advertising of how pathos is used. This advertisement is for a beauty product, and the emotion that they're trying to get the audience to feel is fear or jealousy. In this advertisement, they are focusing on fear and sympathy, trying to get you to feel afraid for what might happen to your children by looking at this image. This is an example that you might have seen a lot on TV or billboards or other advertisements. It is the dog behind the bars of a cage. They want you to feel sympathetic towards the animal and by getting you to feel sympathetic, you're more likely to do what they ask you to do. This advertisement takes a different approach than the others. It says, comes in a wide variety of colors except green. That's reserved for your neighbor's face. What they're implying is that by buying this product, your neighbors will be jealous and it'll give you that sense of satisfaction, that smug feeling, getting able to walk around and everybody else hating on you because you got something that they want. Our third rhetorical strategy is logos, simply the Greek word for word. Logos is the logic or the reasoning that you use to support a claim. It's very factual. It uses a lot of statistics. Anything that is studied, anything that is measured, anything that can be scientifically proven is logos. So let's look at some examples in advertising for logos. First off, we've got Cheerios. Cheerios trying to get you to buy their product by using the logic that you can lower your cholesterol by 4% in six weeks. This is a measurable statistic. They put in an actual percentage and a time frame something that can be measured. This is appealing to the audience's sense of logic and reasoning, something that needs to make sense. In this advertisement, they bring up the statistic that one in four adults struggle with a treatable mental health condition. By bringing up this statistic, they make it impossible for the audience to argue that a problem doesn't exist. This is their proof. This is their evidence. In this advertisement, they're trying to convince you to buy organic instead of regular grocery store produce by bringing up statistics and facts of the different types of pesticides that are used in the different ways that these foods are altered when they go to the grocery store. For your introductory assignment, you'll need to go to Google Classroom and find the assignment named Identifying Ethos, Pathos, and Logos. You'll need to follow the instructions for the assignment. And don't forget that our Zoom takes place 45 minutes after the start of class. See you there.